A lot of the songs I play on are very simple, so they might be G to D to C. Might be an A minor in there, might be an E minor. So in the key of G, I see G lots of places on the guitar. You know, it happens a lot of places. When I started out um, a few minutes ago, I started up here at the 12th fret just by barring my finger across here, these three strings. And what that gives you is the ability to then add notes. As long as you're holding these three strings down, the D string, the G string, and the B string on the 12th fret with your index finger, you can take your extra fingers and do really kind of melodic little chordal things, and all the notes ring together really nicely. Here we have G5, and then down two frets, G suspended, back to straight G. You can put your finger in there, the camera sees better like that. Another good one, the six. <laughs> and your job in this situation is to have enough pressure to keep that held down. That's the trick. You gotta ask your hand to hurt a little bit and keep that held down. And then we get into the really good Hendrix thing, which I've jumped over and now I'm muting the adjacent, not muting, I am barring the adjacent three strings and then I bring that beautiful third up there and if you can your little finger and then I bring my index finger see that was just a shift from these three strings on the inside to these three this one starts on the A string this one starts on the D string so that's one place G is I, I see it lots of other places too I see it here so it's that D chord just brought up here. It's that shape, but in order to get some freedom and some extra, you know, fingers in the in the game, I'll play it like this, and I'll bar across right here with my index finger. So I'm barring on the that's the seventh fret, and then I form the chord with my second finger, and then I do the G sus here. I mash it down and do a bar. That G2 is a really good one. That's just two notes. So the idea is to make music out of it, and I'll try and demonstrate that. Or up here. So that's not the... Uh, that's not your uh, friendly neighborhood beginner G chord now, was it? Not, <laughs> no, no, it isn't. But it, its origins are friendly and simple. I mean... Oh, yeah. I have a question. So that was uh, those two little spots that you were doing. Those were right? Yeah. You're thinking of that as G major. Yeah. Let's just, let's, uh, let's do that, but then add a chord. Let's add D major. And so then show where those two zones are, and then maybe you can do something together. That's a really good one. We'll, we'll do it here because this is, this is a good spot for it. So we have okay. this G chord right here. And all we have to do is jump with our index finger and bar here, much like we did up here. It's just down here. So here's our first G chord. And we take our index finger on these three strings. It's the D, the G, and the B string. And now we have a basic, an anchor for playing in D. So if the chords of the song are G to D, I can go. This gives you a kind of look into the U2 Coldplay way of playing guitar, which is... In the Coldplay way, you're kind of doing downstroke. And then with U2, you have your delay on, and you're going... So here's the G, and the variations that happen around it. And here's the D, and the variations that happen around it. Beautiful. Great stuff. And then let's say you went up to A, a third one. Then okay. what? We'll, we'll uh, do the G. And the D. And really, the smoothest way to, to grab A is right here. 
Okay, so if we have G right here, same one we just did, D right here, the same one we did here, the easiest A to grab is just to take these two fingers, take your third finger on the third string, the G string, Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's the ninth fret, and then take your little finger on the tenth fret on the B string. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That is an A that's easy to grab. See, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep smooth connective tissue between these. Now once you've landed there, it's pretty hard to go up here to these upper strings, but if you're a little hard, but you can go down. That's a typical passage I would use when going from D to A. So I'm in D. And then it's easy to grab this A. It's really an A5 chord. And then I switch to two strings rather than three. Uh, that's a sweet, that's a U2. get something, you know, <laughs> I'm getting some info here. <laughs> and it happens all, you know, all over the neck, you know, there's G here, D here, A here. One of the great things to do with G is just use the open string. Because if you're ringing that open string, you have lots of freedom to move around. Same with the D. Open D string. And then where would I go for A? I'm not sure. In this case, I'm doing something tricky, which is, is I'm muting that D, but this stuff happens all over the neck. 